Hey, this is BJ. Thanks for listening to our show's podcast. If you're a fan of all things geeky, you should check out my other podcast, BJ Shea's Geek Nation. We have new episodes every day, and you can check it out at BJGeekNation.com. Your home is going into foreclosure, and you feel like a financial wreck. You don't know where to turn for accurate information. I'm bankruptcy attorney Travis Gagné. Let's talk about some legal options. If we work quickly, we can propose a plan to save your home, modify the loan, or in many cases, even eliminate your second mortgage. The consultation is free. I've helped hundreds of people just like you make informed decisions about whether to save their home or exit it on a reasonable, organized timeline. The chapter you choose sets the tone for the next chapter of your life. Please contact me today at ChooseTheRightChapter.com. That's ChooseTheRightChapter.com. 99.9 99.9 KISW, the rock of Seattle. You guys know that YouTube channel, There I Ruined It? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Those mashup of songs they do? They mess everything up. Yeah, they do. Or as they say, they ruin it. Yeah. Well, for the week of Star Wars Day, because as you know, May the 4th be with you was this week, uh, they set the vocals from Katy Perry's California Girls to the music of Darth Vader's Imperial March. <laughs> okay, I'm I'm sold on paper. This sounds like something that could be interesting. All right. Well, uh, I mean, we all love Katy Perry. Yeah. Maybe okay. not for her singing, but we all love her. She right? sings? Uh, from what I heard. Okay. I thought she was an Elmo shirt model. Yeah, I just like to look at her. Still the greatest picture. Okay. I'm not going to argue with that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, all right. So we've got California Girls. That's the one Snoop Dogg was on, too, yes. right? Yes. Yeah. All right. California girls. That's it. Danny's on top. Danny's on top? Yeah, I'm on top. Is this like a fantasy? Daisy Dukes. Yeah. Something on top. Oh. They used to say Danny's on top. Well, you know, listen. Damn, Danny. Yeah. It's Katy Perry fantasy. Do what you want. Yeah. But how would it sound Vader style? I don't think we needed this. No. no. At first, I was like, this is the greatest thing ever, but rather quickly it went to being the worst thing I've ever heard. I'm <laughs> yeah. fine never hearing that again, BJ. Yeah. They live long and prosper. Yeah. <laughs> well, the song hopefully will not. Wow. I mean, it's impressive. Uh, is it, though? I mean, it took him some time, probably. Yeah, you know, like it shifted. I'd imagine. <laughs> I feel like then you probably could say any song can go with any song. The way they did well, that. I mean, the nuance of it worked. Yeah, did it? Yeah. I. Uh, I mean. Uh, okay. I get it, but at the same time, no. Uh, I mean, okay. why does he hate us? <laughs> I just think this guy. I just feel like just because you think you can do something doesn't necessarily mean you should do something. Yeah. Well, I'm we've a, made a career of doing that. Right. That's true. I feel like we're professionals, though. I don't know about this uh, there, I ruined it guy. I don't think, I, don't, I, I think that, you know, sometimes uh, you don't want to hear it again, do you? No. Sure? No. Danny, is, are you sure he doesn't want to hear it again? I, I, does I, anyone here want to hear it again? Uh, oh, look, Joe's does. shaking his head. Look. Oh, yeah, Vicky says she does. Why are you doing this? <laughs> Vicky, you jerk. Oh, I know what this is going to be. I finally found it. This is terrible. Danny? That's my ear. I want this in my box. Oh, Don't okay. put it in his box. Danny, put it in my box. I'm telling you right now. This is Vicky, oh. Danny. This is my Dominic the Donkey defense. Yeah. You know, you're right. I need to cleanse the palate. Uh, okay. And then I'm going to need to cleanse the palate. Just saying. Are you sure you want to cleanse the palate? I feel much better now. All right. Oh, well, you? you know what? I need to cleanse the palate. Oh. You sure you want to do this? Oh. Well, that's us. You know what? Both of them together, really. That's the mashup. Do it. Oh, okay. Hee haw, the Italian Christmas donkey. Oh. Stop it. <laughs> sure. Okay, this is not. Who wants to wake up to this? Why? 
Steve, just give in. What we're hurting our listeners with this? Are uh, you sure you know you want to? <laughs> you're serving no one. I, but you're the one that keeps it going because you're the ultimate troll. I put you're a poll up there, Dominic the Donkey. <laughs> Or that. It's and not I guarantee a- <laughs> you that we'll get at least 69% voting for Dominic yeah, Dominic. It doesn't matter what your poll thinks. It is a song you hate <sighs> just as much as I hate Dominic. So I will play that Katy Perry Vader mashup anytime. Mm. Danny, it must go in my box. Oh, yeah. I need defense against the Steve. I don't know if we can do that today. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Joey, kind of uh, we're, we're, we're short staffed. <laughs> Drive is the guy that puts everything in boxes. Well, Joey yeah, Deez knows, knows how to do that. No, he doesn't. Yeah. <laughs> He's been trying for years to teach him, and he still hasn't figured it Here's out. Here's the problem. You guys don't have enough money to bribe him, and Pops does. Oh. So you will lose this one. Joey Deez, want some cash? There we go. <laughs> She's in the box. As it were. She's <laughs> Katy Perry's in the box. Famous last words. Whatever that means. All right. Well, uh, on in other, in other news, uh, a man was busted for selling drugs out of a vending machine. How about that? Steve will tell you all about this. He's got the mix report for you at 617 on The Rock. DJ and Migs. Mornings on The Rock. 99.9 KISW. 99.9 KISW, The Rock of Seattle. After two long years, pain in the grass is back. Yes, sir. That's all I have to say. Yep. And actually, truly, that is all I have to say. We'll we'll have more details on Tuesday morning at 9.15. Will this be the year that Chumbawamba finally plays Pain in the Grass? Oh, my gosh. I can't wait. Yes. Spoiler alert. No. <laughs> Damn it. Who will play a Pain in the Grass? Well, you tune in at Tuesday at 9.15 to this fun program, and you'll find out because Pain in the Grass is back. Welcome back. Well informed on the issues of the day? Not this guy. Live from the KISW News Center in downtown Seattle, this is the Mix Report. Well, thanks, you guys, and thanks to Kia Pua for giving us the Mix Report. And today is the day to click on those thumbnails. Happy National Nurses Day. Oh. Wow. I thought it was going to be Stepsister Day. Right? No, no. Yeah. It's also Military Spouse Appreciation Day. Always a good, every day should be Military Spouse Appreciation Day. They have to deal with a lot of crap. Okay. All the men and women out there. You're not going to get me to fight with you on that one. Wow. That's also, there's a lot of stuff going on. BJ, I know you're excited. It's International Tuba, tuba Day. Yeah. Again, we have some of the we- lamest holidays or whatever they call them. And then this day, of course, they've got a skillion. And also, it's National Tourist Appreciation Day. So, oh, my that, question oh is. Oh, boy, that's a tough one. Somebody comes to town. They've never been to Seattle. That would be Santa Claus. Sam has been here, man. He I'm, comes to town, though. Somebody comes to town. Okay. Other than Santa Claus, where are you sending them to? They're like, I want to do something that's Seattle centric. What are you going to do for oh, them? You got, I mean, you have to send them to the needle. I mean, you the heroin them. needle. The ne- yeah, wow. send them to the heroin needle. Yeah. I mean, I know that you know. No, that's no. not a good joke. Yeah. Wow. That's a. Uh, you know what? Thank you on National Tourist Day. Yeah. Yeah. You don't want people getting high on heroin. Yeah. Um, it depends on the time of year because if it's Christmas time, I send them to Snowflake Lane in Bellevue. In Bellevue. Yeah. My first thought was to send them to Dex. Oh. Enjoy some uh, good Seattle burger. Yeah. Good. Okay. <laughs> Enjoy some good Seattle burger. Me caveman. Eat yeah. burger. Uh, <laughs> look, that's a great stop. Going to Dixon Queen Anne is a pretty good stop because they'll be in, you know near the area. You, you kill two birds with one stone. Yeah, of course, you know, if it's not the needle, you know where else you got to send them. The gum wall. Uh, well, I mean, the gum wall is part of where you can send them, right? Uh, Pike's Place, just to piss people off. Pike's Place. <laughs> yeah, go yeah. to Pike's Place. <laughs> I hate when people say that, yeah, too. Yeah. Not hate, strong word, but it's Pike Place. Oh, what See, the hell? You, know, you beat people up when they say it. I do. I, yeah. I will kick them in the shins. Yeah. My mom's in town for Mother's Day this week, and that's the place she wants to go all Pike the place. time. Pike Place. That's like her her destination is like, you're taking me there, right? What, what like, is yes. it about that? Does she yeah. just like watching people throw fish, or is it, does she actually enjoy the market there? The market. She likes shopping. And she also loves all of the pastries they have there. There's a yeah. pineapple bread that they have at one of the little oh, shops. Oh, yeah. And she buys, like, four of them. She's That's just like, awesome. I'll take all of them. That's I, awesome. I have yeah. never actually 
visited like up and down pike, a pike place like that. I've never done it. What? I've you never haven't gone, gone shopping? I've gone to restaurants and stuff, but yeah, I haven't touristed pike place at all in my, uh, in my yeah, years here. You should here. do it with Danny's mom. Let's that way it. Danny could get it happen. I, mean, I yeah, feel sure. like that would be against all the rules of marriage, but okay. <laughs> I mean, she thinks I'm 70 anyway, so what the heck? You can become Danny's dad. Yeah. Danny's dad has got it go. How did it go from there to that? Uh, because you're the one talking. <laughs> you started it. I just said, I? yeah, I just offered that you should go with Danny's mom you on said a platonic I should do level. It. You, yeah. should say, you said I should do it with Danny's mom was the line. Yeah, do Pike's play. Pike play. <laughs> okay. Well, now you have to beat yourself up. <laughs> yeah, there you go. All right. Let's talk about this guy. This is very impressive, but also stupid. He's uh, from Detroit. His name is Marcellus, and he was arrested for having illegal guns. But while they noticed that he had illegal guns, they're also like, what's going on with this vending machine attached to your house? And he admitted that he was making $2,000 a day wow. selling weed out of a vending machine that was attached to his home. Whoa! So here's the ATF uh, agent that was in charge of all this talking about Marcellus and his pot vending machine. Yeah, I have to say the brazenness of it was shocking. What we were hearing, the estimates were about $2,000 a day. Entrepreneurial at its best. Unfortunately, it's just things you can't do. Now, the thing is, this isn't like an old vending machine. This is a digital vending machine. Oh it's God. pretty impressive. This guy's vending machine works better than our vending machine. <laughs> yes, it actually works. <laughs> Honestly, I wish... Uh, could we get them to sell anything? Pot, anything from our vending machine. Yeah, you, There's nothing in there. You tap on the screen what you want, and poof. And it I'll, takes poof. all sorts of credit card stuff, it, too. It takes Apple Pay. Our vending machine does not take anything, and there's nothing in there. It says it takes Apple Pay, but you put your phone up against it, and it does nothing. And there's also old cheese in there, BJ. Come on. Yeah. It's been expired. Yeah, dude. I, 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 I'm not messing with that vending machine. If it started working today, I mean, there's been, like, bottles of orange juice in there that I'm pretty sure are no longer liquid form. Yeah. Oh, for sure. Can I? I mean, I feel like we should be able to call out the company and ask if they still are in existence. If I, you know, is that well, they bad listen? Thing? I don't. I'm not, I don't need to call them out. Oh, I'm going to call them out. It's what just like, it, sir. What purpose is that? Sir? They're bad customer service. Get it out of here and get us a new vending machine. Is there. it us or is it them? I maybe don't, somebody here is just not making phone calls. Uh, what do you mean? But they, they, they have their own business, don't they? Know when they're not, they go? Wow, you know, I haven't serviced that vending machine in two years. Maybe I should go do that. I mean, you yeah. know what your vending machines are, don't you? What's up with that that, uh, that KSW crew? They just never seem to eat any of our food in the vending machine. <laughs> yeah, they have no clue. That is, it is not on us, Steve. That's the, his well, business. Well, I'm sure there's a number on there. You call it. Oh, I want to call it right now on air and go, what the <laughs> F? That's radio right there. You do it on air. I don't know. What is this W? Call you in the face. What are you doing? We Bye. finally got our microwave to work. Yeah, how long was that? That took about a year and a half. Yeah. This is insanity. I mean, the, isn't the pandemic over? Now we're just in a, a demic? I don't know. I mean, whatever. A, a vendemic. Yeah, we're in a vendemic. We're in a vendemic. No vending machine. Also, who at our, who on our staff leaves a sponge in the microwave? Oh, that was me. Really? Yeah, I'm sorry. I totally forgot about that. You've done it twice. Yeah, and that's you're absolutely What are you right. doing with the sponge in the microwave? Oh, that's, <laughs> Vicky will tell you. It kills the germs. I don't do it because the one time my roommate did, it stank up the whole house. Yeah, but then don't you germs. take the them sponge out of the microwave? You just forget. I just forgot. So you just heated it up and left it in there. I, well, I, like, who's, yeah. eating my, who's eating a sponge? Yeah. yeah. No, that's me. That's totally me. I got a cop to that. But yeah, Vicky's right. I, you know, it's a, I mean, I don't know if it really works. I, it depends on who you talk to. But it supposedly kills the bacteria well, on there so it doesn't smell. Based on how those sponges look, I mean, anything, do anything it takes to help. Because yeah. those things, I think, have been the same sponge we've had here for like the last 15 years. That's why I do it. Because it's like before I clean anything, I need to clean the sponge. So I so Open it up a little bit and then just throw in the microwave. And then you nuke it. And then I nuke it. Kill everything. Hey, I don't know. How would you feel about this? If you're the general manager of the Seattle Seahawks and you're watching the Trey Wingo show. Okay. And on the Trey Wingo show, there's a former player that used to be a star here at on the Seahawks defense. Someone who's loved by the entire franchise. Ryan Bosworth? No. Oh. By all of the fans. Oh. And that player says he would like to come back and finish his career here in Seattle. Oh, who is it? Here, let's listen to the interview that Trey Wingo did with K.J. Wright. In the perfect situation, what would you like your next football destination to be? I want to go back home. I think it's, I think it's that simple. I, um, Seattle know that I want to come back. They know that uh, how much they mean to me. Last year, I left, went to Vegas by myself. My family didn't come with me. I'm not doing that again. I'm not, I don't think I'm going to move, uh, move my family anywhere else across the country. And so, if it's not Seattle, then... You know, I'll, I'll, I'll be I'll be content. 
Oh, there's Trey Wingo and his jazz band uh, talking to KJ Wright. Yeah, what the hell was that music, man? I didn't know they did the interview in an elevator. <laughs> why? Why do they have to? That totally, it didn't match anything. It's like, <laughs> what the hell, that's not football, buddy. <laughs> and ladies and gentlemen, just Kenny G to accompany KJ yeah. Wright. I felt like I was back in the car with my dad as a kid on road trips. <laughs> So, uh, here's what I say. Don't you give away all your bargaining power when yes. you go, I really just don't want to I go mean, to Seattle. I mean, I got a feeling that money's not the issue at this point for AKJ Wright. Maybe he just wants to have one last go playing with the team that, you know, obviously made him the star that he was. Yeah, uh, that's cool. turning 33. He's all not right. 33 yet. He's going into his 12th season. There's the numbers, man. 12. Ooh. Oh, I get it. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, on limited role with the Raiders, he played decent. So I don't think he's coming in hoping to be a starter. He'd be like, kind of like He'll a... He'll be a finisher. Yeah. I'd be nice to see him back with the Seahawks. Then yeah. we can say we still have some kind of a connection to a Super Bowl. There you go. Bring I mean, him and John Ryan back. I mean, yeah, really. How could it hurt... I, I, seriously, no. with this team that we have, that we have no idea what they're going to do. I know that Pete and John think they know what they're doing because they've been doing it. But a well-loved on. player, a leader. I mean, listen to me. Yeah, sign him back. Bring him. Yeah. Makes it, he's begging to come back, so you yeah. don't have to probably pay him a lot. No, 20 bucks ought to do it. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, maybe a vending machine. we got a vending machine we can give him. <laughs> hey, can we give him the Seattle Mariners? Maybe he can fix that. What happened? Did they have a good game? They lost again, BJ. Woo! Go uh, Mariners! I mean, I... I proclaimed yesterday that that was going to be the start of their eight-game winning streak. I think I was off by a game. So tonight, uh, 640 <laughs> is the beginning of their eight-game uh, winning streak. I believe it. God, this is really frustrating. Oh, man, it's really frustrating. Uh, uh, Sounders, fresh off of winning the CONCACAF, they don't get much of a break. Nope. They're back at it tomorrow, taking on FC Dallas. That game's at, uh, I think, uh, 5 30? Yes, 530. Yes, so you can watch that. They're in Dallas. Yep. Uh, shout out to the Seattle Storm. For the first time in years, they finally have a home again. They're playing at Climate Pledge Arena. Well, how cool is that? Yeah, I mean, three seasons they've had, like, they played over at uh, the University of Washington, the Angel of the Winds Arena in Everett. They've, you know, basically just been couch surfing for the last few years. <laughs> and now they're back. Get to see maybe it's Sue Bird's final season. I don't know. Oh, are you kidding me? Sue Bird is like the fountain of youth. I know. She'll just never stop playing. I Graham swear Stewart. right now, there's someone ought to just check her contract because she didn't sign a contract with the Storm. She signed it with the Devil. Wow. Oh. Well, oh, that's how, I mean, how do you, how can you be? I mean, she looks like. I mean, she doesn't look her age at all, and she plays like it's not how old she is either. Well, you can dance with the devil tonight at Climate Pledge oh, Arena. Oh, but <laughs> dance with the devil! And shout out to my friend DJ Trunks. He's going to be he's the DJ for the Kraken, and now he's also the DJ for the Storm. So he'll be there on oh, the ones and nice. two. So if you hear awesome music, it's all because of DJ Trunks. T Birds, good luck to them. They start their second round of uh, the WHL playoffs against the rivals, the Portland Winter Hawks. Yeah, it's about time. Let's put the Hawks down. Not our Hawks, their Hawks. As far as weather, 52 degrees. We got some rain. <laughs> Thanks to Jersey Mike Subs for giving us the mix report. And that's what's up. Yeah. I wonder if they. I wonder if the Storm basically are playing in the best arena in 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 uh, the WNBA. Yes. I mean, I know they play in a lot of the you know the NBA places, but still, I bet. Uh, man, I, I got to think we got. I want to believe we got the. And plus, you'll get to see what basketball looks like. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, they've yeah. done some college stuff. I mean, they have done some basketball there, and it looks pretty awesome. But it, it will be really cool to see yeah. what's going on with the Storm. All righty. I got to get my hands on one of them Storm shirts, the, oh, the yeah. black shirts with the new logo. They're pretty oh, yeah. sweet. Oh, they got a new logo. Newish. Yeah. Newish. All right. Um, uh, very quickly, I noticed you guys are wearing your college shirts. Yeah, it's Ivy League Fridays. Yeah, it is. And Danny and I are fine alumni from uh, some very well respected Ivy League schools. Does Vicky have hers on? I do not. All right, I tried then. making them, and I melted something on a shirt. So, first try. Not successful. Well, she failed. She doesn't deserve to be in an Ivy League. Yeah, she, she was going to make mine, so I had a feeling you failed yeah. this way. We are the clearly the smartest people on the show. Steve. Duh. You paid a yeah. lot. You paid money yes. for yours. Yeah. How much did you pay for those shirts? You clearly the smartest people What's on the, the show. What's the difference between paying for an education or paying for a shirt? Either way, you're paying. Yeah. <laughs> What's that? I, I tell you that. Uh, yeah, I don't, least, really I don't have re- thousands of dollars a month to spend on my student loans. I don't this believe I. Yeah, I don't believe I have to argue anything, Danny. I feel like Steve is doing a great Watch job. Watch me on flex his own. my Ivy League muscles during beat makes. Yeah. Uh, okay. He's gonna do gooder. Yeah. Okay. I listen. You guys, you've proven your point. 
I rest my case. Okay. Uh, yesterday, Steve did get this one wrong. What well, a triangle with three unequal sides is called a what? Obtuse? Nope. Acute? Nope. Uh, a triangle. <laughs> oh. I mean, no. <laughs> you know, I, and I, we got the answer yesterday, and I still don't know what it is. Oh. Anybody? Yeah, it's scaling, you idiot. Duh. We're all scaling. Scaling. Oh, pardon me, Princeton. Yeah. I had Thank no you. idea it was that. Oh, <laughs> Go... Tigers, tigers. Uh, go Tigers. Tigers. Yeah, if you're a real fan of the school. Uh, hey, uh, yes, scaling was the answer from the Princeton Tiger over there. You want a shot at beating Steve? You got it. 206-421-ROCK. We're playing Beat Migs at 647. Today's podcast is brought to you by bankruptcy attorney Travis Gagne, who's ready to answer your questions about bankruptcy. Travis, is it true that if you file for bankruptcy once, you can't file again? Even if you filed bankruptcy before, you can almost certainly file bankruptcy again. Different types of bankruptcies have different time limits between filings. In Chapter 7, full bankruptcy, you can only file Chapter 7 once every eight years. However, you can always, almost always file a Chapter 13 case. Chapter 13 cases can be filed uh, immediately following a Chapter 7. They can be filed immediately following a prior Chapter 13 case. Chapter 13 is a reorganization plan, so there will be some type of monthly payment, but it's based on your budget and your ability to afford that payment. So Chapter 13 is an option in almost all cases, uh, even with a prior bankruptcy filing. Thanks, Travis. If you have more questions about bankruptcy, you can reach out to Travis anytime at choosetherightchapter.com. That's choosetherightchapter.com. Thanks for listening.